Hey, it's Mike and John from PumaPlow.com with another mod showcase in Farming Simulator 15 on the PC. Here in the shop and today... The JCB pack. The JCBs have arrived on the farm. It's not really a mod pack so much as it's official DLC. Yeah. But it's a mod, let's be honest. It, it's an official mod. Yep. Okay, so what do we got? I just noticed the little guy has orange rims, but the big one doesn't. Oh, no. Or uh, orange, yellow. Oh, no. So we got the little, little one. The uh, uh, 230 horsepower. A good little tractor. Good little tractor, not bad. Yep. $189,000. The big one's $245,000. Uh, mm -hmm. 245000 310 horsepower. Yep. So those are the two tractors. This one's basically a... Like that one we've been using. Yeah, it's basically like the modded one that we've yep. been using. Um, so in here we got a wheel loader. Now the thing I'm on the fence about... They didn't come with, like, accoutrements. Yeah, you have to use the all the other in-game stuff, which actually makes kind of sense. It does, because it would have just been more pieces. Right. So this one's 195,230 horsepower. We've got a telehandler. Same thing with the telehandler. It didn't come with accoutrements. Now, big strike on this telehandler compared to the in-game one. Yep. The in-game one is four-wheel steering, which is great. Yep. This one is, is articulated. Ew. So seventy nine thousand dollars to buy, hundred and twenty one horsepower, and and the best part, the skid steer, heck yeah, front loader, whatever you want to call it. Yep, it's uh, seventy four horsepower, forty nine thousand dollars to buy it. You know, this is kind of a unique to the JCB as far as I know. It's a one arm. There's only one arm coming down to where you attach stuff. You actually get in, not the side. Right. It's different. It's pretty cool. It does come with the bucket, the bale fork, the pallet fork, the silage, log fork. And a stump grinder. They actually call that a manure fork, but it'll haul silage and well manure, probably straw even. Yeah, it'll haul all your stuff. But yeah, it's anything you can grab with it. Anyway, yeah. go ahead. And they're all, oh, the stump grinder is expensive at forty five hundred dollars. It is. The other stuff's cheap. Yeah. Oh, so that's that's the JCB pack. So now we're gonna show it all off, right? So this is the big tractor. Or little this tractor? is the little that's guy. The little it's a little funky looking. It is. The cab is like in the middle, and then you get, you could like have a little dance floor back here. Yeah, I guess, you really could if you if you really wanted to. Yep. So it's a little different, but uh, I kind of like it. Got that front three point and PTO. It's which always is good. Always good, right? Yep. Makes it very efficient. Um, because it's you know an actual giant mod, the all the lights are gonna work and. Yeah. And the in cab looks basically like an in cab on anything else you've seen except for the JCB logo. Sure. The mayor's work, of course. I mean, it's all it's it's just gonna work. So, uh, you know, it pulls a corn planter, right? Well, I'd hope so. <laughs> well, there you go. Yep. So there's that one. That's the little guy. I I kind of like it. I haven't used them much yet. No, but I'm kind of looking forward to it actually. And I know you haven't used it at all yet no. since you just bought the pack. Just bought it about ten minutes ago. earlier today. Yep. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of digging it. So here's totally. the big big tractor. Beacon hazards, you know, it's all gonna work. It's all gonna work. Yep. It's it's. It a has a front three point, front three p, C three PO apparently. Front three point PTO. Yep. Got it um, all. Mirrors. Yep. Where's that mirror? Looking right behind. Looked straight back or something. Yeah, got the big That's old weird. joystick so you can play your flight sim. That's while right. You're, while you're while you're farming. Yeah. Got the uh -huh. buddy seat. You know. Yep. Got it all. This tractor looks a little better, but even this one, the cab's a little far forward. Yeah. I don't know. It's just. It's their Must look. Must be a design feature of the JCBs, yeah. Yeah, so uh, it'll pull a cultivator. So what do you got there? Cultivator? One of the smaller ones. I just didn't feel like, you know, lugging the tractor down too much, right? There you go. So that works. Yep. All right, so we're to the wheel loader now. Yep. So it's articulated. Ugh. I'm not really happy about that, but nope. that's okay. I'm not really planning on using it very much. In cab looks, looks pretty good. Got all those air conditioning knobs over there. Uh -huh. two, two cup holders, Mike. Ooh. Oh. And a joystick so you can play fights. Play hey, sport. raise your bucket. Um, doesn't no. look very safe. I know, right? Wee! All right, so actually, I want you to get in the other one. Oh. If you would. Wee! And let's do some com kind of side by side comparisons. I'll be completely honest. I have no idea how to use these things. Well, just make the bucket go up. Oh. Okay. Straight up. So, to wow. curl it back, I've got so much more height right there. Yeah, you do. Look at that. Yep. That's crazy. I haven't actually seen this yet. Okay. Okay, and then uh, so Dumpy. yeah, we can no. dump. Just do that. Action. I can get into this trailer if that's what you're looking at. Well, see, but you need the other action on the dump. I don't necessarily even need it. Yeah, see, I'm gonna be. Okay, you, there's that other action on the dump button. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, so what you'd have to do is pull up and then dump with the other one. Where I could dump like. Uh... 
Like yeah, that. exactly. But Where then I, you still have to use the other dump, too. Yeah, I barely even need to use that one. I can just curl it over. Right, you definitely have more reach. I'll give you that. That's awesome. So So that's the uh, wheel loader. It looks good. I like the look of it. They, yeah. Um, they bulked it up a little compared to the in-game one. It <laughs> does have the pin hitch on the back. It, it just wasn't articulated. I know, right? Actually, hang on. There's a mirror right there. Does that thing work? Let's see. Turn around. Oh, you can't see it because the exhaust stacks pipe. in the way. Yeah. Darn, I was hoping that mirror would work. That'd be really cool. I've got four mirrors in here, though. Wow. I see you. Walk okay. over to the side. I can see you. Uh, I went to the other ones. Oh, okay. All right, so that's the wheel loader. Yep. Now to the telehandler. Yep. Big strike against this one, too. It's articulated. I don't like articulated things. Okay, so I don't have any tools here, but uh, let's go up. Up. Can you tell Mike's using controller? I went faster. So I've you've got, got way more, more reach. reach on that one. Dude. But let's extend now. Wait. Get the, yeah, the yeah. telescoping part of the teller. I'm almost as tall, or just taller than you are now. How do I do that? It's your other bumper. No? Oh, there, there you go. go. Oh, my uh -huh, goodness. Right. Oh, man. Pretty sure I just pwned you. You destroy me. Uh-huh. That's not even like a fair comp. And I'm not articulated. And, exactly. So. so as far as I'm concerned, this sucker stays in the shop. The pack's all about the tractors and what we're going to get to in a minute. And uh, so the next thing there actually is not a competitor for. Nope. So this is the little skid steer guy. He's Here. pretty awesome. Let's go through the accoutrement. So you have a regular bucket. This bucket seems huge. It really does. Um, compared to the other stuff. You've got your bale stabber, mostly for probably round bales. Right. Just guessing. Sure. Uh, you know, pallet fork for wool pallets. Yep. They call this the what fork? Manure, Manure fork. But, yeah, it'll do silage and probably grass and straw. Yeah, basically. And All that good your, stuff. And your log fork. Yep. Uh, I have used that. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Just saying. And then the stump grinder is on here. Um, actually, you want to do me a favor? Oh, sure. you can't do that, can you? Can you cut down a tree? Uh, I always struggle, but I'll try it. Okay. Otherwise, I can do it. Oops. I want a stump to grind. Hang on. I, because uh, to me, that's the coolest part of this thing is the stump grinder. I don't remember how to engage my chainsaw. Um, I get it. Nope. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Nice helmet. <laughs> don't knock it, okay? You picked like the biggest tree in the world, too. Yeah, it was the closest one. Okay. All right, so we're going to grab this guy. Um, you know, I kind of wanted this thing to have a beacon, I'll be honest. Yeah. And it doesn't. It's okay. But, uh, it's yeah. snappy, though. Turn that like when you turn. Around. Yeah, you can, I mean. Like a real front loader, like a you know, real bobcat or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. it. That's how these things are. Yes. Each side can go a different direction. So. Yep. Um, yeah. So we're going to come over here and grind this stump out. So you have full control of the stump grinder head itself. You can go up yeah. and down, side to side. That's awesome. And um, Grind it. You have you have other controls too, obviously, because your your tilt to your bucket. Right. What would normally be your bucket? So there was, you go. That was awesome. To me, this stump grinder works better than the in-game one. Sure. So we'll go for a reach test now. Uh oh. It's, it's really big stump, John. It's got. <laughs> hey, for those times when you need to grind a branch off a tree uh -huh. above your head. Yeah. Here you go. But that reach will be good with the bucket, with the silage fork, bale grabber, with the bale grabber. All that stuff would be good for so that. So here, let's grab this down real quick. Um, you better watch out. That thing's on still. Yeah, I ain't scared. So you've got a mirror on your arm, actually, so it moves with you. It's kind of cool. cool. And then there's another mirror over there. Uh, you could, I could see actually doing some in-cab work with this thing. Sure. Um, you could do stumping just like that. Yeah, you, you, know? could, you could definitely do some stumping. You know, sure. Walk, drive right up to it and get her done, right? Sure. So that's the JCB pack. Um, overall, I'd say it's worth the 10 bucks. There will not be a link in the description on this one. No, you go find it on your Steam or find it um, on the main farm some website or whatever. Yep. I didn't realize there's a little step there between the wheels. Yep. It's handy. Well, there you go. So, yeah, what do you think? Do you think it's worth it? Yeah, it's the tractors and the front loader are where it's at. The other two I don't care about. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So, yeah. But there's your JCB pack. Uh, download it. Until next time, we're Mike and John from PumaPlow.com. See you. Toodles.